welcome back to ship happens something very exciting is happening today hopefully by the end of this episode we will have all the frames wireframes and stringers done on the starboard side bow but first to be able to do the next ones that we need to do i need to remove everything off the shelves that's in the way and we also need to go upstairs and remove all the bulwarks so let's get to it So we've got this web frame to do, this frame and this frame. So these are the bulwarks we, we speak of. Um, how much wobble there is. If you wobble this, what it goes all the way down to the, down to the end. And I don't even think that's the 80s work. That's what somebody's fixed, isn't it, in there? over the years but we might as well remove it because it's basically it's vulnerable in the wind and as Gemma pointed out it's restricting our access to the frames so may as well take it all off and then when the time comes we can then put it back 10 times better than it is now so how do we get it off let's have a good assess so it's held together with loads of um loads and loads of screws going down into the deck beam so I don't think the screws are doing much, so we'll um, try and take it off a bit more sympathetic, try and retain, retain this plywood, because it's good sort of temporary plywood, isn't it? It feels that little bit more unsafe when you walk out of this door now without the bulwarks. These frames aren't actually that bad and when they're not that rotten they're an absolute bugger to get out. <laughs> Keep hammering away at it then. Not as bad as we thought are they in places? No, it's really good. Right, you'd think these things that are designed to be hit on the end, right, would like, so it's going to fall over them, would sort of oh. withstand a beating. That's oh. took some abuse that from us though. This is, yeah, it was from like Lidl. <laughs> <laughs> Which. One use. Yeah. Come on.
So I don't want to knock them all away because they'll end up in the mud. So I'll go outside in a minute and pull them all out with a claw hammer. It's hard work working on a climbing frame all day, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> we, went, we went rock climbing yesterday as well, didn't we? Yeah. Or indoor rock climbing, so that was fun. So I can feel on my shoulders today. Okay, okay. Can you shout to it? Uh, no, I moved on to another one. <laughs> <laughs> this is my least favourite thing to do on the boat. I'm making it. No, I don't mind it. I'll, I'd rather make a brew than do this. <laughs> Sounds like a bit of a deal coming up here. Oh, I've only got two to get out. Well, do, you want, do you want me to like see my mentality of doing it? Go on. Which one is it now? That one and one down there. Right, so let's get it. Let's get it so we're not got as much bounce. Because obviously these mushroom, don't they? We'll do that. Is that your yeah. punch of choice? No, it's better man, this might go flying off the bars now. Okay. One more, which I've half done for you. So the bump, when the punch bounces, it means it's got like a kink in it. I'll go make a brew. Deal. So yeah, that's like one of the hardest things to do on the boat is actually getting them copper nails out. It's the same every time. It's a proper struggle, but it's out now so I can go back to cleaning it all up and then get it in paint. So first we're going to give it a couple of coats with some zinc primer.
I'll let that dry. Can't even see. I'll let that dry, flip it over. I usually do about three coats of zinc before I move on to the black. So we're doing like this one, this one, this one right at the top. Because this is the one that the web covers, uh, it's a little bit, it's a bit crusty at the top. So when we've got it all open, we'll um, just put a couple of feet in, I think. Oh, no, actual, actual material we're joining to is really, really good. So, so you're just putting your scarves in? <clears throat> yeah, just just the very, very first part of the scarves, and anyway, then we'll feather them back a bit. So it's now 20 to 2. We've been hacking these frames off since half nine this morning. So it is a very, very time consuming job because we have to be careful how we take them out because obviously we don't want to damage the hull. So that looks like we've just whipped it all out in like a couple of minutes on, on the video, but yeah. it's hours and hours and hours worth of work. Like hundreds of these, not hundreds, we've gone through two. <laughs> <laughs> No, three. You've changed three. Probably about three, but it's, it's one of them. You go, you put a new one, and you go, why didn't I change that earlier? Yeah. It's like straight through. So like, you just done the last scarf joint on the web frame. Yeah. Uh, so we now need to grind them back with the grinder, sort of get them all flat, put them straight edge across there, make sure they're nice and nice and uniform across them. Simon's just hammering in. As you can see from the footage outside, they're actually below the water line. Alright, so that last one I just put in. Yeah. Uh, the highest one, that one. That's um, an inch above the water line. So when you're inside the boat, wouldn't actually think the water line was so high up, would you? Because it looks like we're near enough at the top of the boat here. So that's really, really strange. So you think where we are floating and high water, that's where the water is outside. Okay, so it's about four o'clock now, so we better pick up the pace, otherwise Simon's gonna be working in the dark. I hate early dark nights. very dark dear. It is. So should we call it a day and come back tomorrow? Yeah, you have to watch it didn't fall down that hole. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we did a good job. Yeah. So that's the reason yeah. why we can't replace any of the decks until all the woodwork's done. Yeah. Because we need the holes to put them down. Yeah. 
you've got to take advantage of your surroundings, aren't you? Do you know what I mean? If you're like, if the decks were perfect, we could not get the um, get the frames in, could we? So, bonus that the decks are broke. <laughs> okay, so we fitted these two frames, which was last night. It's working into the dark and cold. Who gloomy nights now? All right, so now um, we need to fit. This is the the frame behind the web frame. And the very very top of this frame was a bit a bit wonky, so I thought we may as well replace the very top of it. We've got the chance, haven't we? Um, and then we know it's all tickety boo. All right, so now we need to glue this joint up, put some more West Pox on this one, slip it in, fix it, and then we can start looking at the web frame then. Some noise in the background. We've had to put the generator on because we're here so much at the boat now that we just not away long enough for the solar to top the batteries up so we're having to have the generator running which is all thanks to the um, early dark nights the solar just can't keep up with what we're using during the winter so we are back to running the EcoFlow smart generator which this time we've plugged it directly into the boat so we're replenishing the boat batteries with it which that's keeping us topped up but you know you just got that little generator noise in the background so if you're looking for a smart generator check out ecoflow i absolutely love it and i said it's so easy you can control it off your smartphone so literally i can just go on my phone and go switch it on switch it off it's just great and it's also dead lightweight as well so I'll drop a link to the to the generator that we're using into the description, so go and check it out. So I've pre-wetted the joint, like with a just normal epoxy, and then I've let that soak in and dry, and now I've got some thickened epoxy that I'm just putting on, on our scarf joint. I think I've made just enough. No wastage on this boat. How are we doing? Keep going, a little bit. The top bit. Go up, slow. Oh, beautiful. Uh, just pass me a little chisel, just as a little lump of paint that may get in our way. Oh, no. There we are. Let's get that off. Don't want it to like hold me. Hold me what was out. One little thing can knock the whole job off. Yeah. Like a number two. Oh, oh, oh. Beautiful. Thank you, my glamorous assistant. Screw driver. <laughs> Can I just say something? They are the last frames on this starboard side bow area they are the last packers on the starboard side bow area and now we are gonna fit the last web frame mm. i feel like this is quite an achievement and i'm quite excited to actually get some floor down because let me just show you how we're working at the moment it's too big of a step for me to get down there so i have to climb all the way around there to down there 
And I've got Simon on standby for any time I need something, he's passing it to me. <laughs> Go on then, climb back. <laughs> Take my tool. <laughs> climb back. <laughs> I have to, I mean, because I can't do the go on, splits. Go try it, try it. From there? Yeah, go on. You put it, if I fall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hot, I can't wait till we've got a floor. But, right, let's do the last red frame on this side of this bit. Not of the whole bows because there's loads to do. Just this little section. You've got to celebrate the small wins. It's not a small win, Jem. No, it's quite an achievement, it's isn't a, it? It's an achievement. When, when you basically look at the amount we've actually replaced. Do you want to know? Do you want to know how many things we've done this side? We've done 27 frames. We've done 10 web frames, five stringers, a good couple of sisters. I wonder how many copper nails we've actually put in. I don't think I've got time to count them all out. Yeah, you need to take a day for that, don't you? I know. <laughs> so my knees had three coats of zinc primer now, so now I'm going to paint it black. So I'll leave that to dry, give it a couple more coats. Um, I've just switched off the smart generator while I was filming and now I can literally just get on my phone. Switch it back on. One day I'll buy myself a good circuit as well. Let's go some horsepower. I'll just get a fresh battery. <laughs> Even on a new battery though, it's not very... Um... It just destroys your cut. You want to cut it. You want to cut it straight through in one hit, but. Some planning required.
So we're still going to do all the copper nails and robes, but in case we end up losing light, what we're going to do is we're going to sheet up the outside that we need to do first. So we need to cut off the tops of the frames, fill in the gaps and sheet all along here. start cleaning out these decks because they're full of mud. Nice. <laughs> At least it'd be a soft landing if I fall. Get a muddy face though, wouldn't you? <laughs> yeah. Jeff, it's freezing. Just, <laughs> just do it. <laughs> I definitely am doing gardening here, look. Oh, look at that one. Oh. <laughs> I mean, it always wonders why I panic so much when I'm walking along the... And I know it's because they're absolutely rotten. Um, this one is like, if I, if I literally ever stand here, I'm going to be in the engine room. Rotty boat. Need a hand, love. Oh, no, you stand here and hold that really heavy camera. <laughs> Bye. You look like you've been in a massive bin bag. <laughs> You're not going to run down the stairs, are you? I'm going to run down the stairs. I'm probably fall and like kill myself. So, no. You're not seeing my magic trick today. Is that a bin bag? No, it's not. Right. Oh. It's what I'm going to dispose of your body in. So, before she disposes of my body in it, we're going to cut this up now into sensible sizes to go down the bowl. What are they called? Compact now. Well, the side bit. Oh, we've had this, we've had this before, haven't we? Crap. Um, it's in there somewhere. We'll call it a companion way. No, it's not, is it? Side gangway. Way. Gangway. Gangway. That's it. Gangway. Is not that not what you say when you want someone to move? I don't know. Gangway. Anyway, that bit of deck out there. Gonna be a black sheeted gangway in a second. So hold this, hold that for. Oh, you made it all day. Oh no. Bang on your one point two. Okay, time to 
trying to get out the wind with our big sail and try not to blow away. So I had this Amazon parcel um, arrive during the week and I think it's going to be really, really handy for what we're doing today. So it has some multi-tool bits, which we are in desperate need of them. I think we used the last one earlier on. And two rolls of Gorilla Tape. So that's going to be perfect for joining the sheets together. So that will be used right now. But I don't know who sent this, so if you sent this to me, let me know so I can say thank you. But thank you anyway. <laughs> right, back to sheeting the decks. No, I've just dropped the brand new Gorilla tape in the mud. <laughs> Buggers. Oh dear. I had it on the end, I was cutting it and I just, I had it, but then it just slipped out my hand. Right, looks like I'm going um, in the mud. So, what annoys me about sheeting is it flapping, so there's nothing really holding in it in the middle of the sheets. So, we get some of this builder's band, basically I pre-cut it, snap it off, a little screw. Um, I preempted, I put some gorilla tape down so the sharp edges don't damage the sheet. All the way down. That's like my arch enemy. Are you scared of them, are you? Yeah, look, I just don't want any more smiley faces on my hands. So. <laughs> 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 See, I've got like a smile on two eyes. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it on the camera. Hello! <laughs> I'm sure you'll have plenty more then by the time, by the time you get old. By the time you finish this boat. By the time you finish this boat, yeah. Right, so Gemma decided to drop some things overboard, like a roll of tape. Basically, lots of just random bits, so I've got to go fishing now. So yeah. Look at your nice new sheet. Sailboats have sheets. 
<laughs> we have water protection. <laughs> what is it? It's a sheet. I was going to say, although now we've got a sheet. No, it's like a condom for the... Um... <laughs> protection. This is protection. <laughs> so, Sarinda's got a condom on. <laughs> Simon is going litter picking because we've also our welly yeah. remover has um, blown, off. blown off. So we need to retrieve that. There's a bit of blue roll down there. I think we should just jump. There's a bit of blue roll there. Yeah. Oh, there's a, a lever yeah, in the water. Yeah, I did that. And my uh, gorilla tape. So I'll just film you in case you get stuck in the mud. <laughs> I always feel like I'm going into like a Martian environment or like what what the sort of the space crews or <laughs> Do you feel like the first man to walk on the moon yeah, when you're well, down here? <laughs> <laughs> All these sort of unknown Oh look, we get mud on me nice new sheet. Not the sheet. <laughs> it's protection. <laughs> <laughs> This is the danger zone here. Danger zone. Oh, where no man has ever walked before. Go on, fall over. I could do it 250 quid if you'd be framed. I don't think they, ever, they don't give you that anymore, do they? Is that still a thing? It's all like or are we of, old? It's all off of the 80s footage they use. <laughs> hey, I was really cool, that. Oh! What? You mean you dropped it? No, it blew away! <laughs> Time to get the neon! Oh, the last frame ever? No, not the last frame ever. <laughs> oh, sorry. So they're in my pocket because like we're balanced. <laughs> there we go. Look at us multitasking. Right, so we still need the threaded bar at the top. Keeps all the hole nice and tight until we um do the nails. Let's put that, that's, that's tight off. You can give it another nudge if you want, but... No, I don't want to snap it. Okay, that's fine. Woohoo! Yay! So we did it! Well, you know, like, yeah? We did it! We did it! So, I know it's not a massive thing in the scale of the boat, is it? No, but... but... That is practically 12 months worth of work. Yeah. And it's still not quite finished, but as far as the frame counts... Yeah, the wood side, yeah. obviously apart from like the beam shelf and four yeah. beams and stuff. Found, should, forget this, we'll come back later. Yeah. <laughs> We've nowhere near finished, have we? <laughs> no, but the frames, wire frames and stringers yeah. are all now done on the starboard bow side, yeah. which is quite an achievement. Yeah. Um, we had one of our viewers, Rolf, send us a package last week. Yes. He sent us some whiskey, a bottle of whiskey, and he said it can be for the whiskey frame. Yeah, a momentous occasion, eh? Because we don't like every other boat building channel on um, on YouTube. We don't have a whiskey plank because no. the boat's already planked. Yeah, we'll be doing plank repairs, but I don't think they they count, do no. they? Yeah. But anyway, we, we'll have a drink then as well. We thought what we should do with this whiskey is celebrate the small wins in life, mm. and I feel like. Just completing this side yeah. is quite a small win for us, isn't it? Yeah. It's quite a big win, actually. It's a huge win. You know, look at what we've done. Yeah. So I think... Two complete idiots. <laughs> two complete novices who said, you're never going to build that boat. Yeah. But hopefully we can show you guys as well that you don't have to be an expert no. to be able to achieve something. No. You can learn anything on YouTube these days, can't you? Yeah. yeah. 
Ooh. I've never really been Are you a whiskey. Got glasses. Um, you open that. I'll. Um, we don't have glasses on the boat. Is this so you don't drink too That's much? That's a bit big, isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah. Throw them out. Throw them out. Who do you think you are? You must open it there. Well, you passed it to me because you couldn't do it, right? And now you're telling me how how I should do it. No chance. Sorry, right. I didn't know it was a cork. <laughs> Popping cork. <laughs> if it was a cork, I would have probably done it. There you go, is that enough? Um, trying to get me drunk. You're driving a little bit. So, thank you so much to everyone who has supported yeah. us. Yeah. Uh, and I hope you raise a glass tonight. Because I do think, like, yeah. it's, I'll say, small wins, but yeah. So, should we say goodbye now before we drink this? But yeah. yeah. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers to all of you for watching. Thanks for us watching. And, and everybody who supported us along the way and who's saying, you can do it, you can do it. Yeah. So, um, we have, we've, we've, I know it's only a small milestone, but it's thank thank you for supporting us. It's the first milestone of many. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, I just spilled it all down my face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's good stuff. That. Woo! That's good stuff. It's actually not bad. Maybe do you like our travels with Jordy does um, beer of the week? I'm not doing whiskey of the week. Oh, <laughs> which yeah. we should do whiskey. We're not big drinkers, to be no, honest. No, no, no. Go on, finish it. Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm wearing more of it. <laughs> right, right, see you all next yeah. week. Cheers, guys. Um, I wonder what we're going to be doing next week. Don't know. Surprise. Mm. Don't know, yeah. <laughs> I think we should go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> Bye for now.